and our goal of this uh, assignment was to give the students a feel for what a curved mirror is doing. Um, they really have no idea why these rules work beforehand, and we found that they, they easily forgot them. And you have the, yeah, right, there. right there. This is an actual student work. And this is a nice student work. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's actually three students, because we have one student do the uh, assignment with one colored pencil, and then they pass it to another student. They just rotate their papers throughout a table. So student in the blue-purple colored pencil did their uh, light rays. Then he passed it to the girl with the green colored pencil, and she did the same procedure, and tangent lines and light rays, and then the red ones. Now, not every lab table looks like this. Okay, this was a good one. But in a class set of 20-some students, you're going to get one or two that do look good, and you can use them then as an example right in the front of the classroom. Here, one of the misconceptions is that the image is formed at the focal point. I mean, the students just say, well, at the focal point, that's their, their number one answer, and I don't know how many images do focus at the focal point. Only if it's infinitely far away, we never tell that to the students. It's just a little too mind bother. So, in our class, none of the images focus at the focal point. And this kind of shows them we can refer back to this. Not only that, but if they're lucky enough, some groups will have the rules in there the light ray in parallel, reflection of the focal point. The one that goes to the center line, the principal axis, it's just the same angle out. Right, they may have cheated a little bit, one, a little bit, because this one here doesn't come in parallel at all. And it goes through. And it goes to the focal point. Yeah, but, but you know. well, no, that's just measuring. <laughs> Actually, that's just measuring, but it's it's not far from being parallel. Yeah. Do you do this before you teach them the rules? Before we right. teach them the rules. So then, when we have the rules, we can show them why the rules work. We tell them that you could spend your day sketching tangent lines, measuring angles, but wouldn't it be easier if we had some rules? And then, then we go to the rules. Um, it also comes, does a nice job when we come back to it of showing them, hey, all of the light rays that leave one point and hit the mirror will then come back and hit that exact same point where the image is located. You know, because I think a lot of times, once you teach the three or four or however many rules you use, they think those are the only dark red light rays that work. You know, all the other ones are just, then, well, A, they probably don't even exist. Uh, and then B, you know, they don't actually, do anything, but you know any light ray that leaves that point and hits the mirror is going to come back and meet at the image point. Uh, we also give them a test question that you know we try to give questions on the test that we don't talk about during the during the unit, so that way we really test for understanding versus memorization. And one of the questions is similar to this, but we have the object. We tell them to uh, use two rays to draw the image in there, the nice rays, the in parallel and then the one through the focal point. I mean, they're already set up. Then we have a third ray drawn at a different angle and have them reflect that. And they're still not very successful, which doesn't speak well of what we're doing. But it's a very tough uh, question to ask them. Picking a random ray after you've gotten the image, you know, figure out where that ray goes. And it's got to go through the image point just the same. But um, very, we're still struggling with teaching that to the students. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you've got a diagram this in your CD too. Yeah. For this photograph to show how it should work and the worksheet there. We don't have a copy of this worksheet right now, do we? Does everyone have the same point? Yes, yes. Yeah. No, we don't. We don't have any favorite copy of okay. one. No problem. All right, so we're uh, we're changing gears again and we're getting into the curve mirrors. Now uh Physics Northwest trick that we uh, found is if you take uh, a little bit of pine salt and uh, put it in some water. A little more on that. It also makes everything smell piney fresh. Swirl it up. It will uh, add some uh, particles in there that the light can then reflect off of. We usually use, we used to use a uh, coffee creamer for years. Um, of course, that then well a couple problems. The particles get bigger. Uh, mold grows. Uh, you know, starts to stink. But you know, there you go. But uh, those things are those things are fine. Now this is the light box that we bought from I think Arbor, but now it's sold I think in every um, uh, science company. But uh, if you shine this guy through, obviously no one can see it except for if you look at the wall because it needs to bounce off of something. But if we shine it through the uh, the water there, is it working for us? You can see the, the light rays. Now this is a couple hundred dollars, so uh, yeah, you know that just going to be your rent. Huh? If you if you've never done the fish tank with the students, um, sometimes it's not easy to see from the side, so you have to point it towards them. Yeah. you'll see it because you're pointed with it from the back. 
But if I do this, is it pretty hard to see? Yeah. 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 It's a lot cleaner yeah. if it's either going towards you or away yeah. from you. As we say, parallel or anti-parallel. Right. Now, um, a cheaper version is you go to Menards, and I don't think these are batteried up. No, that's okay. You need triple A's or? Yeah, who cares, right? Okay, yo. Um, you'll get the idea. You get uh, some of these laser levels, right, that are basically just laser pointers, but they've got a button on them. And then you can mount them on something. We sometimes just stick a board across there, or we used to before we got this cool one. Uh, and then you can shine these lasers in here, and they're all going pretty, pretty level to each other. So you'll get some parallel beams that, uh, that work very nicely. But then, if you have some concave and convex mirrors, you can, uh, let me do my, sure. You can either stick it in the water or you can stick it past the water. Let's but I'm going to turn it this way so that the light rays will reflect back at you. And we've got the concave working right now. But if we shine that in there, you get the uh, nice, uh, yeah, they come together. No, let's, uh, I don't know, stop the moving over here. Yeah, see the focal, focal point? Yep. Uh, right. And if we turn it the other way? Okay, now convex. Are they spreading apart for you? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Spreading apart. So, um, quick, easy way to show that what the, uh, you know, you can draw the demo a bunch of times, they can see it in their book, that the light rays coming in parallel to a concave mirror are going to bounce off and go to the focal point. But when you show it, it just makes it, uh, makes it very, very nice. Now, another demo that we could do, but we didn't want to take you guys outside, and it's not sunny out, is uh, we can go outside with our big concave mirror. You know, the, uh, what are they, the foot and a half one? No, not, we don't use that one. We use just the, no, I'm looking for, uh, the standard foot, they're probably put away in. The standard. Oh, right here. There we go. So we'll use those guys. We'll take it outside, and we'll, uh, you know, have the move the sorry, the sun's light rays come in. And of course, ninety-three and a half million miles to here, if they're gonna hit a foot and a half apart, those two light rays are gonna be pretty darn parallel. Or all those light rays that are hitting this mirror are gonna be pretty darn parallel. And if you take some uh, uh, deodorant, like with baby powder in it, and you spray it on here, you get a beautiful cone of light. I mean it just um, use this suave, you know, it's cheap like in daylight. Oh yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. I mean you see the cone. I mean you can buy yeah, the, the artificial smoke works too. Mm -hmm. You can buy the fantasy effects, you know, that they sell as you can get Arbor again. But uh, it's just as cheap to buy Suave. And it smells nice. It does, yes. <laughs> and and the, kids down, the kids downwind, you know, smell good the rest of the day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just deodorant with baby powder. Yeah, deodorant with baby powder. Yeah, so go to Target and find deodorant with baby powder and we bought the Suave. Suave. Right. Now, as an added bonus, you take a white piece of paper out. And you put the white piece of paper in front of there. You don't want a full piece, but you know, get a, a quarter sheet of paper. And you can focus that light ray. And they'll see it. The cone will get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it'll be so bright, it'll hurt your eyes to look at. Even better, you bring a pencil out with you and you darken that paper. So now it's going to be dark and it's going to um, absorb those light rays better. And the, light, the paper will burst right into flames. It just. Uh, you take a quarter sheet of paper and you darken it with a pencil. And then you just hold that darkened spot right at the focal point. Yeah. So, so, point. So, 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 yeah. so, so, or you can have it next to your leg and burn holes in your pants and then your leg, like Scott did. Yeah. <laughs> Students, then, then you, uh, they'll want to burn something else. Yeah. And uh, yeah. pencils burn. So this, this would be the good demo to do that in class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last, it's like the last eight minutes or so, yeah. Uh, last uh, thing. Yeah, you can burn people's shoes, you burn their calculator case, you burn, I mean, everything will burn, so. Just watch out as you're carrying these out there. It is really bright, so if you're reflecting the light is in the eye, so I usually, I walk out with it so the mirror side is towards me. Because um, you get a flash in the eye, yeah, it's, it's uh, really, really bright. 